Welcome back to the channel. My name is Christina. The other day I posted a short from Fresh and Fit. Myron was running his mouth and talking smack about women over 40. The comment section was very revealing how modern men really think about us. And I want you to get into the mindset of the modern man. It's not logical. It makes no sense. And so I want this video to be titled, Make It Make Sense, Man Math. So let's get right into this. You won't believe what Myron from Fresh and Fit had to say about women over 40. And I think women shame men because men get gain their value in their 40s. Men understand the sexual marketplace better. They understand that women have no leverage in their 40s. The fact that when I turned 72 years old, I did 100 push-ups in my restaurant, in front of my customers. I've got young grandchildren that can't do two, five push-ups. The fact that I don't even have a primary care physician. I am the best example. Just know I got clowned really hard for adding that old lady at the end of the clip. A lot of men were clowning me saying, what does push-ups have to do with sexual marketplace value? Fair enough. But what I learned was even more disturbing. Here's a comment left two hours ago. Carlos wrote, it doesn't matter how many push-ups you can do. Men still don't want that. I replied, so if you're 50, you want someone 25. And in 15 years, she will be 40 and you 65. Then what? What's next? This is man math. Then I ask, do you guys think this through? What age do you expect to die at? 70 is average, so you'll be 70 with a 55-year-old woman. So that's acceptable? The 55-year-old you've been avoiding your whole life, that's who you end up with? So when do you hop off of this roller coaster? Here's the first reply I got. Yes, we want a younger woman. Just accept it. So this is man math. They can't reason, they're not logical. I got no answer. They completely skirted around the issue, just like Myron was saying that girl was. There is no benefit, okay? It doesn't end. So somebody deleted their comment. They said something to the degree of, well, we, it never ends, that's the goal. And they deleted it because I searched up and down for it because he knew that I was gonna read it out loud. So there you have it, ladies. Modern men plan to never marry. So then this old cat decided to jump in and he wrote, you can't change the fact that Myron is correct. I'm 60 and prefer younger women. So then I asked this man, are you 60 and still single? What's the oldest age you will marry? No response. So I started throwing my weight around and I'm trying to let these guys know, what is it with you being 60 going after a 25 year old what makes you stand out from all the other 25-year-olds, from all the other 35-year-olds, 45-year-olds, 55-year-olds? This is man math. So they put themselves at a disadvantage intentionally. So women, we've got to stop asking these men to lead us unless you want to be led off of a cliff. DJ Trulin writes, we want children of our own. Hot older women with careers and great personalities physically unable to do this. Then winning 3329 replies, you don't even want to pay child support for the children you already had in your younger years and make all the excuses not to see your children. Older men can also suffer from infertility issues and not be able to get a woman pregnant. So a lot of these comments are from men of color. And let's remind you the statistics that it's well over 50, 60, heck, even 70% of these households that are missing these so-called anxious to be dads. They're not around. It's a lie. It's a myth. As soon as the baby comes, they're gone. Hence Kanye West when Kim turned 40. So we see that these men are just going to keep using women and then jumping off and then they're going to just go to hell. That's what they're doing. They don't believe in God. They don't believe in marriage. They don't believe in procreating or raising their children. They're completely detached, emotionally unavailable. And this is what's in the dating pool. Women are avoiding this. I can tell you that as a woman under 40, the men's comments are completely disingenuous. And I don't look forward to dating any of them. Anybody with that mindset, if they think they're going to get with me or any other younger woman, they've got another thing coming. Because social media, we're spreading the word. We don't want to be tied down with these toxic individuals. This is the mindset of a raper and a pillager. They keep talking about fertility, youth, youth, fertility. But yet... They jerk off in a napkin about three times a day. They don't care nothing about no fertility. I heard that 98% of men are addicted to porn. 
So what fertility are they talking about? I lived in the house with a man who was older than me and we both were fertile. And you know what? He never touched me or never even wanted to do anything. But I guarantee you he was on his phone. And a lot of this is because of the mindset going on today. Modern men find women to be disposable, absolutely useless. But then who do they go home to? Who gives them a kiss on the forehead when they have a boo-boo? Who do they call when they're going through something? A woman. They call their high school sweetheart and call them whenever they need validation. So they treat us like we're so disposable and yet we put them on such a pedestal. I'm not interested in dating men while I'm under 40 and I'm not interested in dating men while I'm older than 40. I don't want to date any of y'all. So have fun in the cesspool that you guys created and make sure you get your annual STD screening. This final comment proves why we need to be done with dating these toxic men. I replied to DJ Trulin, why are men so slow? They need 50 years to find a mate. Thanks for the last 20 years of your life, but keep it. Then Trevor writes, we didn't need 50 years. Most of us wanted to settle down in our 20s and start a family. Most girls wanted a hot girl summer. Wait a minute, but I thought you guys wanted a hot boy lifetime. It looks like y'all want to do this for y'all whole lives. So go ahead and do that and we'll see how logical you guys really are. We'll see how much of a problem solver you really are when you get ED because you're jerking off every day. So you get it when you're in your 30s. We'll see how likely you are to keep dating down and live this hot boy summer when you have a stroke from eating takeout all day, taking back shots in the nightclub like Fresh and Fit Miami. We'll see how you problem solve when you have a cancer diagnosis and nobody's at your bedside because you screwed everybody and discarded them the moment they became a, a mature age. The times when you didn't want to be seen with children because you wanted to be a bachelor on the scene instead. This is the toxicity that modern men get, the karma that's going to come around. So women who are 40, pushing 40 or after 40, pay this no mind. They're really trying to trigger us in the comment section, but I'm over it. I already know my worth. I know what God has placed into my mind and my heart. And we don't need to be submissive to any fools. Like the Bible says, a fool and his money will part. And these men got to remember, when you get older, I've had a lot of older men hit on me, but they had big bellies. They're coming into Walgreens, getting their prescription filled. I'm not attracted to that. No, sir. You need to date somebody that's your age who understands your health risks. And Myron, he's what, 30 something years old? God forbid he ends up like Kevin Samuels and have a stroke. Then what? So now the women are getting the short end of the stick. The women are getting played. We're going to need all the women who are 20 to 25, all the women under 40, come to this comment section and learn your worth. You have these men eating out of the palm of your hand. They literally are desperate and begging for you to pick them. It's not the other way around. And they're going to keep doing it. The older they get, the more value you're going to have. And in fact, a lot of people are even lying about their age. So all we got to do is lie to these guys and we can get whatever we want out of them. I mean, it's that simple. They're not basing dating on any other reasonable criteria. They're not trying to see if you have any mental health issues or if you have diabetes. They don't care about that. They just want to know if you're a hot young 20 something and you're younger than 40 because 40 is the kiss of death. But you know what? There are numbers greater than 40. There's 50, there's 60, there's 70, there's 80. When you see that 170 year old woman, 107 year old woman who's celebrating her birthday and she survived the civil war, do you think modern men are going to sit there and be like, oh, whoa, she's low value, man. She should have been dead. Or are they sitting up there clout chasing and saying, oh, well, God bless you, granny. Keep pushing. So which one is it? When you go to the cookout, who's providing all this cooking for you? Who's making sure that you're okay? Who's babysitting your kids? And another thing, these men say, oh, we want to be fathers. But can you babysit your best friend's kid? Can you go a whole day without jerking off? I don't think you can. There was a woman who said she was giving, actually her child was dying in the hospital. And when she went back and checked her husband's phone records later that day, he was jerking off the porn or whether he was looking at it. So these men have a deluded mindset and ladies just play off of these men. They are literally throwing themselves at us just for being under 40. So take advantage of it every day that you get. But that's too much of a hassle for people. And that's if you want to play these games, because now we're knowing men are punching innocent women in New York like it's nothing. So the best and most safest practice for modern women 
is to just be comfortable being your own breadwinner and don't be entertained by these toxic men. Who cares what they think? If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed. Talk to you on the next one.